Uh, what were your overall impressions about this chapter? What did you think? I was like, this is so relatable because a lot of things have happened in Maharashtra right now, <laughs> yeah. where opposition is now in the government. The government is now in the opposition. Yeah, and it's hardly been a month or so. Yeah. So it's just uh, very relatable. And I'm sure if any student uh, of civics at this point in time, seventh grade student, would be looking at Maharashtra. Hmm. Would totally be confused oh, and flung their sure. exams. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> you know? So I just hope they were keeping themselves away from right. Uh, right. what happened in Maharashtra. <laughs> so you know the funny thing is a lot of our earlier viewers and now the new viewers I know you are there are school kids, right? Oh, Who actually? So it's very interesting. We got feedback from season one that parents were making their kids listen to uh, How to Citizen uh, for civics. Very it's like you have to prepare for civics. It's like you have to prepare for civics. Like my daughter had her birthday. recently hmm. and her friends came and told me that auntie we troll her every time there was there's a civics chapter <laughs> because you tell her your mom is doing things like this okay so my daughter just hates it <laughs> so i think your daughter will also watch this so hi what's her name anitra hi anitra you will enjoy this a lot i'm pretty sure <laughs> your friends even more so they'll have more jokes just wait <laughs> uh, but uh, interesting no like how uh, the civics chapter is so sanitized and so woke i would say right no if it was woke it would have prepared the children for what's happening in today's current circumstance i wonder about that though because in classrooms i often wonder like we are reading this right now we are aware of the news mm-hmm. and everything do kids discuss this in classrooms with their teachers so you know when i was studying uh, mm. our civics used to be one of the driest subjects that we oh. had it was hardly discussed yes. had there was hardly any discussion debate or trying to understand the nuances mm-hmm. of how governance works so you know a lot about political parties you know who's the chief minister who, right. which political party is in the government right now but you do not re- really discuss the nuances mm. and i'm just hoping that for for example for my daughter civics is a very interesting mm. subject mm-hmm. for my son it was very interesting but sometimes i wonder if it is it because i am in politics mm. and they see this first hand right so uh, i would say i just hope that there are children who are understanding the nuances of right. uh, civics and the importance of this particular subject mm-hmm. correct that's what i was wondering even when we did uh, episode 1 hmm. with omar hmm. um it was interesting because when we went to kashmir and when we spoke to him about uh, this it was a chapter on equality right and we were reading sentences which just had like this blank look on his face like we read this one sentence about i think voting about how everybody is allowed to vote and you know like uh, there is no caste creed race whatever he just looked at us and he was like really <laughs> really and, and can you imagine um, rajya sabha is supposed to be a council of state yes yes and you do not have anybody representing jammu and kashmir right now yeah it is just such an unfortunate thing yeah. it is yeah. an important state you'll have given it all the importance all the politics around it and you don't have a voice mm. in the rajya sabha yeah. so i think these are when you talk about equality and you talk about council of states and the relevance of uh, you know rajya sabha mm-hmm. you need to also let the children know that this is also absolutely point. absolutely and it's very important because the chapter we chose for priyanka was perfect as she says it's called the how, how the state government works and we are recording this 8th of september, 8th september. yes and a month ago two months ago there was chaos in maharashtra as we all you know. think it should be renamed how the state government doesn't work <laughs> 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 right. i mean, don't 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 get into that, <laughs> that, 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 that yeah but uh, let me just read out the first bit of the chapter <laughs> yeah. first um So the chapter is called How the State Government Works. Last year we discussed the fact that government works at three levels: local, state, and national, and looked at the work of local government in some detail. So chap, so civics. Uh, we did season one with chapter uh, with eighth grade. Okay, this is seventh grade. We are regressing as society hmm. regresses. We are also <laughs> regressing. Uh, so in the sixth grade, they talked about local government. इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग राइट यू नो लाइक सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड में तुमको लोकल गवर्नमेंट के बारे में बताएंगे यहाँ पे स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड इन द एट स्टैंडर्ड वन देर इज अ हाउ डज द पार्लियामेंट वर्क राइट सो इट्स लाइक एन एस्केलेटिंग थिंग राइट इन दिस चैप्टर वी एग्जामिन द वर्क ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट एंड एट द स्टेट लेवल How does this take place in a democracy? What is the role of a member of legislative assembly, MLA, and ministers? How do people express their views or demand action from government? We look at all these questions through the example of health. Mm. I I wanted to ask you this question: How do people express their views or demand action from government? Okay, that was a tough one. That is really. <laughs> <laughs> And Civics how do I answer this without? Um... We are in the introduction of the chapter. We haven't even begun. <laughs> No I think uh, a lot of accountability comes through governance that mm-hmm. is how 
Hmm. Ideally, hmm. the yeah. world should be and how we should expect people to function. But unfortunately, that has got bit, a bit muddled because you have a lot of politics playing behind it. Hmm. We are seeing um, more and more increasingly that a lot of work functioning does not... You, when, even an MLA who becomes a minister goes hmm. on to become a minister is left defending the government hmm. rather than having to yes. be accountable for the ministerial role that is given to them. Right. The second biggest challenge is we have seen this, at least I see it in the Rajya Sabha, during the question hour that is when you get to hmm. answer get to get, get answers from hmm. uh, the ministers hmm. they do not come prepared hmm. and the only answer that they have hmm. uh, if i may say so without upsetting your yeah, yeah, listeners absolutely. jai ho modi ji hmm. Hmm. you know 2014 ke baad se amrit kal shuru ho gaya hmm. right. so i think that should be the first step the question hour should be totally something which holds the government to account mm-hmm. every single minister who's sitting in the cabinet should be able to prove why he's there oh, and right. for what reason he's being made right. there and you see such instances where people lose interest in mm. you know politics or mm. government as mm. such and they f- lose that focus so yeah. i think yeah that is where we right. are starting to lose that idea of accountability you know i learned this the hard way though because uh, when i went to delhi in 2011 i started working with a mp who was with the upa and they were in power right and there was this uh, constant demand from the opposition that uh, you should do a debate on uh, farmer suicides right uh, back then mm. and uh, sharad pawar ji was the uh, agriculture minister i was working with an mp who worked with him he was a rajya sabha member as well it was um, interesting because a he had to defend the government right and when he was speaking there like you know defend in the sense he was not trying to belittle the problem Yes. but at the same time he also has to express his loyalty to his party mm. and i spent i think a week trying to come up with arguments about how you know you can actually explain away mm. the farmer suicide which is a very tragic problem and it still exists yeah. right so we came up with this uh, game plan of oh no you know it's not just the agriculture ministry's problem it's actually a societal problem it's also a problem of the electricity department yes. and so many things the governance problem deflecting hmm. but we had to put in a lot of work to deflect hmm. right funnily enough when the debate was actually happening and he was reading out the speech uh, he started reading it and then suddenly he was like i don't need to do this i will just say no no sharad pawar ji has done great job he's oh. done great work here etc etc which is what is happening constantly now right i don't think they need to prepare anymore totally understand the idea of defending hmm. so it's not like Uh, farmer suicide is not a societal issue sure, also sure. right and there could be some policy loopholes i totally get that mm. uh, but here the idea of deflection also i understand that that would be part mm. of their speech mm. but also making yourself answerable mm. that yes, yes maybe there are some loopholes yes and maybe because you're in opposition you have some better ideas mm. we're willing to listen to it the idea of democracy is not just about my way or the highway mm. correct the idea is that if it is not working on ground mm. how can we do this better mm. right and that is when accountability uh, when we talk about accountability you're not just accusing the government mm. you are saying hello this is what is going wrong as part of your policy let's talk about wh- mm. what Precisely. we can do better yeah. Precisely. you know that i would say is accountability yeah. and transparency comes in when the government accepts okay so we thought this would be a great idea but it hasn't worked mm. out and this is how it has panned out right these were our initiators probably not met with success and instead of making everything political mm. some issues should be kept above politics for mm-hmm. example i'm someone who's very um passionate about gender justice mm-hmm. so i always keep it above my politics so right. let's speak up let's make right. this about societal transformation yeah yeah